The movement means something, that Trump has moved the needle, and this Never Trump movement uh, is a serious issue we have here in the state of Illinois, and people need to leave that behind and understand that the way to win the election, to the way to move the needle in the state of Illinois, to pick up seats in the House, is not by playing defense against the Democrats. It's about going on the offensive. It's about having conversations with folks on these social issues. It's about embracing what Donald Trump has done to the party, not running away from it. I believe that when we do that, when we stand up as conservatives, because Trump gave a clear message about what he stands for versus what Kamala Harris stands for. And unfortunately, sometimes in the Illinois House, we don't see that. So we're sitting at 40, and in my opinion, with the way everything went last night, we should have picked up seats, and that was a failure. Yeah, I think that it appears we're going to still have a super majority, which is um, excellent. You know, I'm excited about that. Um, I, I do believe that, you know, given the um, outcome of the federal presidential election and the um, outcome of the Senate, the U.S. Senate, and possibly the outcome of the House, that's a trifecta for the federal government. You got the White House, the Senate, and the um, House of Representatives. I think Illinois must look at an agenda, possibly for um, veto session and for our um, lame duck to evaluate any kind of um, impact that and the Trump's administration could have on Illinois if we don't take action now. Well, you know, we have, I think that the state will now have to um, decide what side um, the state will align with as it relates to allowing for agents to come into the state and deport. I think that one of the uh, components or I think protections for migrants in the sanctuary cities and states are that it sort of protects them from agents. And so I think we have to evaluate to what level of cooperation, if there is going to be some type of mass deportation that Illinois will participate in or stand in the way of. Well, I think that I hope that that's I think we should participate in in getting rid of any violent individuals um, from the state and send them back to um, their homeland. That's that is comforting. And I think that's why it's very important that we work with the administration when it becomes um, in power so that we could strategically um, move those people back to their, their homelands. Because one, there are some people that have made their way here and they are already been productive. They have families, they've had children already in this country and they're productive. Um, so the fact is we need to get rid of the um, tax burdens and the criminals that's making our lives less safe and finding uh, comfort in criminal activity right here in Illinois, they must go. We'll have to go through the court system for that, obviously. It's a situation where, you know, Illinois is a sanctuary state, Chicago is a sanctuary city, all uh, ICE facilities were closed just a few years ago in the state of Illinois. So I think it's gonna be fought in the court system. I'll play as much of a part uh, in, in, in helping the president through that process as I possibly can in the legislature, but I think it's gonna be through the court system. Uh, you're gonna see in veto session, you're gonna see a lot of meltdowns since Donald Trump uh, is now gonna be the 47th president of the United States. You're gonna see the Democrats really give a lot of floor speeches. They're going to file a lot of legislation on the immigration issue. But to be honest, the people, I, I you know, went over the numbers uh, just a moment ago. Um, that issue, even in, in Chicago, 
uh, people are fed up with it. I mean, Kamala Harris did a 180 on that issue. Uh, so the Democrats know it's a loser. It has lost. It has lost them the election along with a multitude of other issues. Uh, but to answer your question definitively, that's something that's probably going to have to be sorted out in the courts. But obviously, the open border policies are going to come to an end and America is going to prosper.